Saturday morning here in Ohio. It's the first day of the Ohio youth gun season. Got my daughter Savannah down here. She just woke up. And uh, we actually just had a little buck come in at daybreak. Um, wasn't one that she was looking to shoot right now. She's looking to beat her sister's record um, of her biggest, or her first, uh, her first buck. So Savannah wants to shoot one a little bit bigger than Shana's. So anyways, we're in the uh, lower food plot here. I haven't checked any cards or nothing, but I'm assuming with the feeder out in the food plot that the deer's been hammering this pretty hard since it's, uh, it's been cold here in Ohio. So it was 24 degrees this morning, we had a, a frost. I'm looking forward to a good hunt this morning. Mwah. <makes noise> Good shot, Shane. Oh, yeah. Watch him. He's going down. He's going down right there. He's going down right there. Uh -huh. Are you freaking? What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Oh my gosh, guys, it's like what 7:45? It's been daylight for 7:37. Oh my gosh, and it was just a matter of minutes. That little buck come in, a small buck, and you know what, to be honest, if it would have come to the plot, I probably would have thought about letting shoot it because she's never shot a buck before. And then, 30 minutes later, here this nice, I, I don't even know what it is, I think it might be an eight pointer, um, come out of the thicket there and come across, and I stopped him. Luckily, he stayed there long enough, <laughs> broadside in that opening, and she made a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> right. that, that went so fast. That went way faster than the last. Ah oh, man. I think that was that shot was way better than the other one. My last one. Yeah, and he went right up the hill there, and I seen him. Uh, I seen him drop. He's, I think I see him right now. He's over by that big log. Yeah. That was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good job. It didn't even take an hour. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I can't believe that. That's a pretty good buck, too. That's a pretty good buck. All right, we're going to get her get her gear packed up here. Uh, give it a few, but I'm pretty sure it's dead right on that hill there. I've seen it, uh, seen it fall over a few times, but then I lost it. So hang loose. We're going to go check it out here in a few minutes. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe it was that quick. <laughs> Oh, there's another person. Where? Where? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. I think it's down. I just saw him. What? Way up top? Yeah. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, it's a bucket. Where? That looks like a big one. That's a good buck, too. Yeah, that's a good one. No, he's gonna, he wants to fight it. Robbing a tree. He's gotta be robbing a tree. I can't see his head now. Dang it. Shayna was here. She could have been so mad. Oh, she's gonna be so mad, Shayna. You could have shot yours and then she could have shot that. Right, right there is dead. Yeah, she could shoot it right there. the blind yet we was getting ready to pack up and another buck come right down through where uh where her deer was laying at and i thought they was gonna fight he said they're gonna rub the tree um we're gonna go up and take a look at the tree as well while we're up there um getting her deer but we haven't left the blind she's uh got some cold feet right now so she's gonna warm her feet up we're gonna pack stuff up and then this time hopefully we don't see any more deer and we can head out because I didn't want to spook that deer. That was a pretty decent buck. If, if my uh, oldest daughter would have been able to come with us, she uh, she could have tagged out right there. So I could have, both of them could have tagged out in the matter of an hour after daylight. So it's cold. We got the heater on. It's starting to fog this up. So I'm going to pack stuff up and get ready to head up the hill. So right here is where you shot it at. Right here. Right there is the blind. And just set up.
do that. Now that's the tree the deer tore up. There he is, ended up being a good eight pointer. <clears throat> Turn him here to the side and get a good look. Had a nice buck. And I just, like I say, we had a small buck come in um, right there at daylight. Um, I'm kind of glad it didn't come in the food plot because it was about half the size of this one. And uh, it actually come up behind us and started blowing like crazy. And then it uh, wasn't even 30 minutes later, this one must have come from across the road because all of a sudden I seen it come out of the thicket there where the push-up pile is and he come right across in the shooting lane. Perfect, wasn't it? 30, 35 yards maybe. After we shot this one, he come up here, died on the side of the hill and then it looked like another uh, big eight-pointer come down through and started rubbing that tree um, that I just showed you guys. That tree up there is all rubbed up. Um, and sure enough, this guy's been rubbing too. See his head there? Yeah. He's been rubbing trees. I thought they was going to fight, actually. I was hoping they were. Um, but, yeah, that was a pretty exciting hunt. We uh, sat in a blind for a total of maybe an hour and a half, including sitting there waiting on the other deer, huh? Yeah, it's not even 8.30 yet. Yeah, so, good deal. Uh, hopefully, uh, everybody else watching this channel has some luck as well. This uh, Ohio youth season has been a good thing for these kids here. They can get out before the, all the adults do. Back when I was younger, you kind of got thrown into the woods with the adults. And, uh, you know, you didn't get the opportunities like you do now um, with these younger kids. So, it's a good deal. Um, we're going to get this thing gutted, tagged, and uh, dragged out and go get some breakfast. So, good times? All right. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next video.